Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for tuning into another video and of course subscribing. Today we are going to do a tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial in a while and a normal tutorial at that because Valentine's Day is coming up and we're gonna do this cutesy little heart pattern. Maybe you got a gift to make. Maybe you just wanna be cute. I got you. So here is an up close look. It's very simple. It's a chevron based pattern and you'll need two colors for it. That's it. So I used craft cord. I'm gonna use a dark pink and a light pink today. This craft cord was cheap from Walmart. I think I got a pack of like 150 for 25 bucks or something like that. You'll also need a pair of scissors because we are working with string and you'll need something to anchor your bracelet down. In this case, I'm using tape, but y'all know I really like safety pins. So to start, you're going to need four pieces of string and the string I cut, generally I hold the loose end in one hand, take the skein in the other and open my arms as far as they will go. So you'll need two strings of that length in each of your colors. So two light pink, two dark pink, fold them in half, tie a loop at the top, and then tape it down or anchor it down. If you're using tape, quick little tip, I find if you put your first piece down sticky side up and sandwich your string in between that and then a piece sticky side down, you're less likely to pull your strings out. And I feel like you use less tape than if you're just taping on top. I don't know if that goes for everyone, but that's what I've found. So now we're going to lay out our strings and to lay out our strings, we have to decide what colors we're gonna use where. So in this case, I think my background color is gonna be dark pink and the outline for my hearts is going to be light pink. So I want my first color to be my background color. So it's going to be dark pink, then light pink, dark pink, and light pink. So background, heart color, background, heart color. And then because this is, like I said earlier, a chevron based pattern, we want to set up a mirror form. So on the other side, we are going to do the same thing. Dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink. So whatever colors you have, just make sure that that background color is your first color in your set of strings. And speaking of chevron patterns, that's what our first pass is going to be. So I'm going to take this dark pink string starting on the left hand side and I'm going to do forwards knots into the center of the bracelet. So a reminder for new knotters, a forwards knot, you make a four shape, you pull your loose string through the hole and then you pull it tight and you do that twice on each base string to complete a forwards knot. So the first base string is the light pink and then I'm going to set the light pink aside, still holding on to that dark pink knotting string and carry that with that dark pink knotting string all the way to the center of the bracelet. So we've done around the light pink, we're doing one and two around the dark pink. Then we're gonna pick up the light pink and do one and two around that light pink. And then I'm gonna set the base strings and that knotting string aside and move over to the other side. So working on the right hand side, we're going to do the exact opposite thing we just did. So we're going to do a backwards knot. And as you guessed, backwards is the opposite of forwards. So we're going to make a backwards four shape or a sail shape. We're going to pull our loose string through that hole and do it once and then repeat it a second time on each of our base strings. So our dark pink string knots are on the light pink, then the dark pink, then the light pink to the center of the bracelet. So there we go, one and two and one and two. Now that we're at the center, you can see both of our dark pink knotting strings from each side are in the middle. So you can do a forwards knot or a backwards knot here. They just need to be attached and because the strings are the same color, doesn't matter which way you knot it, it will be dark pink. So now that that first pass of the chevron is done, 
we are going to work on our left hand side first and I'm going to tuck the right hand side completely away so we can focus on one side at a time. But because our dark pink string moved all the way to the center of our bracelet, you'll notice that the order of your strings is now light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink. But unlike what we did in our last row, we're actually going to start with the second string in. So our dark pink is going to do a backwards knot around our light pink. So our second string is going to do a backwards knot around the first string. And remember, we do it twice on each string to complete a knot. Now our dark pink, we're gonna set aside and holding onto that light, light pink that we just knotted on, we're going to use it as our knotting string for the rest of this portion of the chevron. And we're going to do forwards knots into the center of our bracelet. So around the light pink and the other dark pink string. And that concludes this side of the bracelet. Let's move over to the right hand side and repeat what we just did. So your colors should be light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink. And I find it's really important to make sure you get this order right in the first couple rows. After the first couple rows, it kind of sets itself up on its own. So taking that second string in, we're going to do a forwards knot around the light pink string. So our second string, which is a dark pink string, is going to do a forwards knot around our first string, which was a light pink string. Now we're gonna set that dark pink string down, holding on to that string we just knotted on, that light pink we just tied around. We are going to use it as our knotting string now for the rest of this row, and we are going to do backwards knots into the center of our bracelet. So a backwards knot around the pink string, and then one and two, two for a full backwards knot on that dark pink string and just like the last row we're gonna tie it any way we want it that's the way we need it any way you want it no one okay so knotting those together and then as you can see that's the top of our heart so let's go back to the left hand side and lay our strings out again so now that light pink string has moved to the middle we're back to dark pink light pink dark pink and we're going to repeat our last row. So the second string in is going to do a backwards knot around our first string. So light pink around dark pink. And then that dark pink that we knotted on is going to do forwards knots into the center of the bracelet. So around our next dark pink and our next light pink. And so if we pause here for a second, you'll notice that your first knot in this row was a light pink knot, and then into the center should be dark pink. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink should be our layout. Our second string in is going to do a forwards knot around our first string. So that light pink is gonna go forwards one, forwards two, around that dark pink and then holding on to that dark pink we just knotted on we're going to do backwards knots into the center of our bracelet so that's dark pink then around our dark pink our light pink and then we'll reach the center there and as you guessed once we reach the center dark pink and dark pink you can knot it any way you want it and it'll turn out dark pink so there we go, we've created our next chevron. And now you can kind of see where our outline is occurring. So now we're light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink. And this row is really simple. We're gonna do a full light pink chevron to close out our little heart shape. So working on the left hand side first, left to right, generally speaking, you frequently do forwards knots. So we're gonna make our four shape, pull the loose end through the hole once and twice on each B string before we set it aside until we reach the middle of our pattern. So one and two. And if you guys notice, I'm holding down some of the other strings when I tie and that's just so things don't get caught up in there. And I've kind of exaggerated this a bit so new knotters can see. 
If you are a returning subscriber though, don't worry, just like the alpha pattern tutorials, I will zoom in and do a second pass of the pattern. So if you like to see the knots more, that is coming, don't worry. Now working on the right hand side of our bracelet, we're light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink, and we do the opposite of what we did on the first half. So we're going to do backwards knots into the center. So that's our sail shape, and we go loose end through the hole once, loose end through the hole twice, until we reach the middle, and we knot our two strings together of the same color. And there you can see our little heart. It'll become a little more clear when we do the next row here, the dark pink, but you've done the first pass. That is the pattern. So let's do it a second time, zoomed in a little more so you guys can see kind of more detail of the knots and how things look. So again, our first pass of this pattern is our background color doing a full chevron. So left to right, we're doing forwards knots into the center. And then we'll lay out our strings on the other side here. Dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink. And working right to left, we are going to do backwards knots into the center. Okay, now we'll move back over to the left hand side, lay out our strings in order again, make sure everything is correct. So light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink. Our second string in is going to knot around our first string and because we're working left to right, that is a backwards knot. And then that light pink we knotted on is going to carry on as our knotting string into the center of the bracelet doing forwards knots. And once we reach the center, I'm just gonna set those ones aside. We're gonna lay out our right hand side and it's going to be light pink, dark pink, light pink, dark pink. And our dark pink is going to be our second string in, knotting around our first one. Because it's right to left, we do a forwards knot on that first string. And then the string we knotted on is going to carry on as our knotting string. And we're gonna carry that into the center of the bracelet doing backwards knots. And once we get to the center, you already know what to do. Knot those suckers together. And we'll move on to the next row. So this row is the exact same as the last row knotting wise, but your color should be lined up the exact opposite. Dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink. I feel like I just keep saying pink and I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> So I'm sorry if I've said light pink when it's supposed to be dark pink or dark pink when it's supposed to be light pink, but I think I'm going insane. <laughs> All right. So again, that's the second string in, knotting around the first string, and then that string we knotted on is going to carry into the center of the bracelet. And then moving on to the other side, it should be dark pink, light pink, dark pink, light pink, and we're going to do the same thing. Our second string in, is going to knot around our first string. And then the string we knotted on is going to become our new knotting string for the rest of the row and carry on into the center of the bracelet. And then we're gonna knot those strings together. They're gonna tie the knot. Tee hee. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a full chevron in our light pink color to finish out our cute little heart shape. And that's really all there is to this pattern, guys. It's really easy and it looks so darn cute. Like, and it's it's quick. I think I made 
I've made three of these in like the last day so easy and you can do like endless color combos because you only need two different colors which is ideal in my books so once you reach the center you just keep repeating this do it for as long as you want i think the bracelet i showed at the beginning i did 17 hearts on and my wrist i believe is i want to say six inches around so that's a little bit short because I like to be able to tie it and then when the bracelet starts to stretch out because I wear it to just tighten the tie as opposed to having the bracelet go all the way around and then when it stretches out it's just loose on my wrist. So not to your preferences. I'm going to do the dark pink row after this just so we can clearly see the hearts and they're a little more distinguished for just this end shot so you guys can really see what this pattern looks like. Now there is a pattern for this on bracelet book. I will find it and I will link it down in the description for you guys. Should you wanna post pictures of it, that'll be where. But I hope you guys enjoyed this cute little Valentine's tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. And until next time, I will see you all then. Bye.